there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Modded Minecraft 1.12, playing on the Direwolf 20 pack. How's everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. I am doing well. What are we doing today? Well, last time we were together, we got those Resturbed Mob Spawners. We got one for Blaze, got one for Enderman. We are going to work on putting those into a machine that then grinds them. So we're going to make a we're going to make our own custom mob grinder. We're not going to put it around an existing dungeon. We're essentially going to build a dungeon around them and work on them. But before we do that, we need to turn around here and come back into here and then remember um earlier this week. Yes, that's right. This is going to be a, a week long of Direwolf 20. Hopefully you enjoy that by the way. And if you do, uh, you can leave a comment down below and let me know what you think or Continue the conversation over on Discord. I've got a link to my public Discord down in the description box below. So feel free to hit that and, and just let me know what you think. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to get some heavy cream. Okay. Yeah, we've got plenty of that. Not enough ingredients. Okay. So yeah, that would make sense. The, the counter jar. It's just a little bit of milk, so you can only get eight buckets at a time. Let's see if we can get some butter out of this, though. Okay. How much butter? Okay, you can only get eight. Oh, man. We might need another cow in a jar just to satisfy the overall needs here for my hamburgers. That's right. I want hamburgers. Toast. Can we make toast? Yes, we can make toast. Eight, of course. Put that in here. And then we should be able to make hamburgers now. And get back to that. Excellent. Only eight. That's fine. It, it's better than nothing. But we've got our hamburgers again. So what are we going to do now is we're going to sleep because it is nighttime. And I am currently on with Java Dad. And I'm not sure what he's up to right now. I don't know. Could be working on some, some crazy bee stuff. Just as I've been working on some crazy bee stuff. We just picked off the demonic species trait. And I think I've turned everything off there. Yep. So I, I'm i just slowly working through that off camera. And, and, and slow and steady. That's going to win the race. But what we're going to do now is come over to our AE system. And we need to build what's called the mob crusher it's from industrial foregoing we're going to do this we need an iron sword i know that we needed one of those and then for the machine frame we needed a tin gear yep and then we needed a couple of gold gears do that and that and we should be able to make the mob crusher oh nope did not get this okay and I guess it didn't pick up the sword. Huh. There we go. So we've got the mob crusher now. And accepts filters. Base area is 7 by 3. Okay. So what else are we going to need? Um, let's go take a look at its overall area of effect and see if we need to make any of the upgrades. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set it in here. We've got one right there. What we're one, two, three to each side. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so right here. I'm gonna put it. Um no, you know what? Let's put it on this side. Right here. Okay. And then should go like that. And we can say show working area. And yeah. So that's the working area right there. Goes up to three high so it can get Enderman. And it goes the entirety of, of our, our area. So this, this thing will work out pretty well. So I made it inadvertently. I made it just, just the right size. So it's all in one chunk. Yeah, we're... Okay, we got one extra right there. But we're all in one chunk. This is a good thing. Yeah, good thing. All right, so our next order of business is to get rid of the working area and we will do active on redstone signal. 
for now, okay? And we're not quite ready to turn this thing on, but we've at least got our mob crusher there. That's going to be producing items and liquid, and we need something for both. And then we also need something for controlling our reserved mob spawners. So I want to play around with something else. And that is going to be the phantom faces from actually additions. So let's see if we can do that. We're going to need a phantom connector. And I think we can do that. Yes. Yeah. So we need that. That helps us connect the different items to the phantom faces. We're going to need a couple of redstone phantom faces. So that means we need two of these. So we need two phantom faces, block of ender pearl. So we need two of those like so. And then here we've got the chest, I think. Let's just do that just in case. And we need a couple of these basic coils. Yep. And then over here, advanced coils like so. Oh, we, we had some in the system. Maybe I should have checked first. We are going to need some empowered diamantine crystals. So I don't think we've got that. No, we don't. So that means we need diamond block. We've got a couple, not tons. We're going to put, we're going to put a couple in here and we'll get that whole process started. It's a little bit annoying to, to do, but there we go. First, you have to turn it into diamantine crystal block. And then let's take a look at the usages. Go to actually additions, empower. We need clay, 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 and light blue. All right. So we've got two of those. So let's go to clay like this two of those and then like that so we've got the clay balls we have the clay blocks and then we need light blue dye we need a couple of those and then we can go empower that okay and then we'll have to come back up here and so you've seen me do that before but just as a reminder no slimes okay we take the diamantine crystal throw that on there we're going to put a clay ball there, clay ball there, clay block here, and then the light blue dye right here. And then we wait for it. And I'm going to do that for both of them. I'll bring you back when we're ready for the next step. Well, we've got our empowered diamantine crystal blocks, and now we can just take those and turn them into the regular crystals. And I think we should be able to get our two phantom faces. Excellent. And then we can throw those back into the system and we'll see if we can get the redstone phantom face. We need empowered redstonia crystal. Of course we do. And so the way you do this, let's get a couple of redstone blocks just like that. And what is that going to take? Oh man, what a rabbit hole we have gotten ourselves into. Oh boy, redstonia. We've got some redstonia, I think. What's this? How does how do you pronounce it? Red restonia crystal. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, we've got two restonia crystal blocks. So we can just grab that. So um, right here. How do we empower it? Nether brick, redstone, brick, rose red. Brick. Okay, so two bricks two nether bricks, two pieces of redstone brick. Oh, excellent. We've got two there and we've got two nether brick there. Redstone. We'll just do red. How about that? Since that's going to get us our two pieces of dye as well. All right. So it's the same process as we just saw with the diamantine, except with the redstone stuff. So more of the same. Okay. And now I have not actually played with this. I've just seen this um, in, in other people's videos. And anyway, it's, it, it looks pretty powerful if I do say so myself and I do say so myself. Now we do need maybe some 
redstone lamps and we're not going to get this thing fully fitted out quite yet we're just going to get some of the basics in place and then i'm going to go off camera and do some more more work on it um let's see what else do we need we need a an ender tank i think yeah ender tank like so we'll need a cauldron and then i think we can grab this yep and we're going to set that to green do we have cactus yeah we've got cactus there i think we can go ahead and just uh not the induction smelter i need i need a better i need a better sort of furnace so let's go over here chuck this in here we'll get a couple of cactus green yeah that'll be sufficient for the time being and then we'll grab a diamond as well because this is going to be ours and we should be able to go over like like this all right and then we'll set green 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 and then personal network there we go so we've got that and then we also need a storage crate of some form medium storage crate that'll be good for now and then we'll we'll be able to turn this thing on and off and then we need a couple more levers lever you oh we're out of sticks how do you hmm. we need to get auto crafting on board here soon but it's still a little early for that our power needs are not quite fully met right now and then one more thing i want to do or at least explore with you um it's called the exchanger right this is from i don't know what mod oh the exchangers mod yeah so we've got hv leadstone okay creative exchanger so i think you have to go through each of these yep oh boy it takes a flux capacitor oh that's a crafting hole to go down oh man thermal expansion exchanger core oh boy you've got to be kidding me i'm not going to be doing this exchanger quite yet we've got yeah anyway that's that's cool i'm glad it requires that but yeah we'll do it the old-fashioned way for now anyway let's go take this and then we'll go back over to our mob farm area like uh nope not like so not yet let's get some of that and then we'll get our builder's wand we've got one yes we do okay like so we'll come over here we've got plenty of cobble we're going to build it with cobble for now and then we'll dress it up a little later all right so do bear with me as we take care of this um hmm. we will be getting some mob spawns that i'm not too keen on but let's do this and we'll put redstone lamp here and we'll do that on all four sides turn on the lamps so that we don't get any potential not so pleasant visitors same same over here okay yep and then that means we can take out um well let's just do this one for now it's not the most ideal, but we'll try and cover most everything with light. Like so. And like that. Okay. That's good for now. And let's see if we can just grab all of this back up. You know, I could always put torches. Right? Let's see about putting torches. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, and I would like a magnet as well. But, again, we're not quite there. I'm not sure what magnet options are available in this pack. I know Batania's got one. 
and I'm not sure if anybody else has one. My go-to usually has been Ender IO, but that's not updated for 112. Can we get that? No, can't. Okay, and we'll just dot some torches around like so, so we don't get many spawns. Okay. And this, I realize, is pretty dangerous. But there we go. Okay, so we've got that. And now what I want to do is grab the diamond wand. And we'll go up just a little bit more. Like so. Okay. And then let's show the working area. Like that. Okay. And then we'll get a um, little cobblestone and we want to make sure we are in the exact middle. Do oh, Java Dad's out. Later, Java Dad. Do this. Yep, right here. And we'll put restored. Uh, which one is this? Okay, redstone on. We want to put the. Enderman one on the bottom. Okay. And we'll do redstone on. And then we'll put the blaze one on top there. Always on. Okay. Now comes the fun part. We're going to take a cobble. No, no, no. Yeah, cobble. And put that right there. Okay. And then... We're going to take our phantom faces and put that down right here and here. Okay. And we grab the phantom connector. This isn't connected to anything. Okay. Is that, is that how that works? Bound to, okay, 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 let's, um, and then what we do is shift, okay, and then shift. Excellent. So now what we should be able to see is uh, that we need a uh, something or other of so that we can kill these guys when they fall down. Um, you know what? How about a little cobblestone to cover cover the area so that we don't get any problems, shall we? Like that. Oh, you know what? We also need to take care of this cobblestone. And then we'll come back up here, get rid of the working area and we'll cover in the roof like so. Can we do that? Yeah, we can do that. And like, like that. Good, good. Okay, so the way these phantom faces work is that they allow you to send a redstone signal to whatever you've connected to uh, through that, uh, that, this little wrench right here. Or it's kind of a wrench. And so we should be able to do that and that. And that's going to turn on both of those. And we'll see if that actually works. We'll make sure this is always active. And we'll see. Oh, you know what? I've got all of those torches in there. And some of you are probably yelling at me to, uh, to turn those off. So let's turn off the mob spawners real quick and then go in there and get rid of our torches. That would be good. Uh, main thing for me is that I don't want to deal with blazes. They're not, not the most fun to deal with. Okay. And go like that, cover that in, turn these guys on, and then we'll see if we can get some spawns out of there. Turn the lights off. Got one here and here. There's no light in there. Uh, 
Are we getting any blazes? Okay, we've got Endermen. Okay. And blazes. All right. So, uh, so far, not so bad. What I want to do is grab... Uh, maybe this thing. Okay. And we'll go back over here. Not, not what I wanted. Well, that was sufficient to get rid of that slime. It's awesome. All right. So over here, we want to put a, I'm sorry. I am, I am going, going quiet here. So let's see uh, the top. We've already seen the top is not going to be putting out the items, but we can put our power cell right here. Set all sides to receive. Yep. And then this should have. No, no, no. Out. There we go. Okay. And then. Right here. We're going to turn that active on redstone signal. And then we can turn this one. Always active. Okay. And then. If we set that right there, we should be able to get to this and items, no fluid containers, mob drop output. That's going to go to the front, uh, no front, right? That should, hmm, how, how do we do over here? Oh, uh, we're actually going to have to put put a, a duct of some form. Okay. It's not outputting any of those items. We've got fluid essence building up. We want to turn everything off and we've got to go get some duct work. So you kind of see how this is going to go, right? So we should have, I guess we don't have blazes quite yet coming in. I may have to check that out, but this is also rather ugly, right? Uh, I don't like this when we've got to go around like this to turn everything on and off and on and off. Anyway, it's not the most ideal. So we need to spend a little bit of time working on, on the aesthetics. Okay. So I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to make this thing look a lot better. And then we're going to maybe move, move some of this stuff around and then, um, and yeah, so I might also take care of that exchanger like you saw in in the well you can't see it right now but anyway i'm not quite sure how all that's going to go down but i am going to be taking care of a lot of stuff off camera when we come back uh, it should look a lot better back in a bit well ladies and gentlemen i figured it's probably time to bring you in for a little bit of a progress update are you ready are you ready let's turn around here uh, what in the world happened huh this looks no different from before we started. Huh, I wonder what could have happened. Well, if you are over on my public Discord, link in the description box below, you will have noted that we had some issues on the server. At least I shared that we were dealing with some technical issues and we had to roll back. Ladies and gentlemen, we had to roll back to 1.7.1 of the pack. Okay, so the pack is currently on 1.8.1 of a beta release. And there's a zombie somewhere around here. And that, apparently, along with some other shenanigans going on the server, uh, has caused us to have to roll back. We got some major, major TPS lag. And, well, I've... I've lost some time. I lost some time in trying to troubleshoot the thing. I've lost a week on that, and then I've now lost a week of progress as well. So all the videos that you've been watching this week, all of that progress is gone. Absolutely gone. We've lost the secondhand meat service for meat juice service for, for Dadcraft. Uh, I have gone back and gotten my Empowerer, but I had to redo that. And, and I'm currently working on some bees that I had lost. We've got the glowering bee going right over there. I don't want to get too close because uh, they're kind of, they're kind of mean. Okay. I'm going to stay away from them anyway. So over here, 
I also had to redo my AE2 system. So this is what we're at right now. I have lost the drives and then I had to redo all of this. So we've got a little bit better cleaned up and I've got a better system over here anyway. So I've moved all my thermal expansion stuff along with the material stonework factory right there. And then actually, you know what we need to do is change this to furnace mode and we will chuck those silicon in there. And then the AE2 inscribers I've got lined out right over here. So it's a little bit better system and we've got automatically putting the, the items over into these chests and then we can just take all of that and put it over into this one and you'll see the silicon actually goes from this chest and gets automatically pumped into here. So it's a little bit better of a setup. So hey, if you got to redo it, might as well redo it a little bit more nicely. And then we've got this thing cleaned up anyway. So we um, we have to or we're going to have to be a little more cognizant of what's going on here and uh, maybe some less chunk loading. So we are the whole point was to be getting towards some things that are going to help us not load as many chunks. We're going to consolidate some things, but lost some progress there anyway. So I don't have time in this episode to go back and redo the mob farm, which is unfortunate. It means that this episode, we started out in a good spot and we ended up in a not so good spot. We're going to have to redo that. <sighs> I know, I know. Anyway, uh, way to go server saving the world. Way to go, way to go. Anyway, um, I don't know where to, to end this thing. We were working a lot over here and over here and over in the nether and man, what a bummer. What a bummer. Were we in the nether? I don't think we were. Anyway, let's come over here and we'll just show off some of our progress over this way. And we will say, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. I'm sorry that we are the bearer of bad news to end it. We will re rebound from this setback. However, don't you worry about that. If you enjoyed, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on the channel. Feel free to check out the public Discord link down in the description box below. And uh, that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.